Hi, welcome to another video. Recently, Quen released several new models, 13 to be exact. They introduced seven models in their general lineup, two in the coder lineup, and three in the math lineup. I've already covered the basics of these models, and now I'm going to test them to see which ones perform well and which ones don't. So, let's get started. I'll be testing all seven Quen 2.5 general use models along with the coder models. First, we'll test the general use models, and then we'll move on to the coder models. I won't be testing the Quen 2.5 math model here, but I will in a members only video. So, consider becoming a member if you want to see that. I'll post it soon, and there are a ton of other cool videos for members as well. Anyway, let's get started. I'll be testing all the models with these 13 questions. So, the first question is, what is the capital city of a country whose name ends with Leah? I'm referring to the country's name here. The answer should be Canberra or any country capital that rhymes with Leah. Let's send it to 0.5b and c. Okay, here's the answer, and it's incorrect. Let's count this as a fail. Now here's the answer from 1.5b, and this is also incorrect. Another fail. Here's the answer from 3b, and this is not correct either. Now here's the answer from 7b, and once again, it's not correct. Next, here's the answer from 14b, and it's also wrong. This one is from 32b, and it's incorrect as well. And lastly, 72b is also incorrect. So, they all fail this question. Now, the next question is, what number rhymes with a word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be 3. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer from 0.5b, and it's incorrect. So, this is another fail. Let's try 1.5b, and this time it's correct. Let's count this as a pass. Now here's the answer from 3b, and it's not correct. So, this one's a fail. Here's the answer from 7b, and it's correct. So, this one's a pass. Next, here's the answer from 14b, and this is also correct. So it's a pass as well. Here's the answer from 32b, and it's correct too. So this is a pass. And finally, 72b is correct as well. So that's also a pass. Now let's move on to the next question, which is, there are five people in a house, A, B, C, D, and E. A is watching TV with B, D is sleeping, B is eating a sandwich, and E is playing table tennis. Suddenly a phone call comes in, and B leaves the room to answer it. What is C doing? The answer should be that we can't tell, because it's not mentioned. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer from 0.5b and it's not correct. Let's call this a fail. The 1.5b answer is also incorrect, so that's a fail. The 3b answer is also wrong, so that's a fail as well. Now here's the answer from 7b, and this one is correct. So, this is a pass. Next, the answer from 14b is also correct. Let's mark it. Here's the answer from 32b, and it's correct so that's a pass as well. Lastly, here's the answer from 72b, and it's correct too. So, all models pass this, except the first three. Anyway, let's move on to the next question. The next question is, name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has 11 letters in total, and for which all the vowels are ordered alphabetically. An example could be transparent. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer from 0.5b, and it's not correct. This is a fail. Here's the answer from 1.5b, and it's wrong too, so that's a fail. Next, here's the answer from 3b, and again, it's incorrect. Another fail. The answer from 7b is also wrong, so that's a fail as well. Here's the answer from 14b, and it's incorrect too. 
fail. Next, here's the answer from 32b, and once again, it's wrong. And finally, 72b is also incorrect. So, they all fail this question, which is interesting. Let's move on to the next question. Is 3307 a prime number? The answer should be yes. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer from 0.5b, and it's incorrect. This is a fail. The answer from 1.5b is also incorrect. Let's mark it. Now, the answer from 3b is incorrect too. This is a fail. Next, the answer from 7b is correct. So, let's mark it as a pass. Here's the answer from 14b, and it's correct as well. Let's call it a pass. The answer from 32b is also correct, so let's mark it as a pass. Finally, here's the answer from 72b, and it's correct too. So, this is also a pass. The next question is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer from 0.5b, and it's correct. Let's mark this as a pass. Now here's the answer from 1.5b, and it's incorrect. This one's a fail. The answer from 3b is also wrong, so it's a fail. Here's the answer from 7b, and it's correct. The answer from 14b is also correct, so it's a pass. Here's the answer from 32b, and it's correct too. This is a pass. Lastly, the answer from 72b is also correct, so it's a pass. Next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it and see. The answer from 0.5b is correct. Let's mark it as a pass. Here's the answer from 1.5b, and it's incorrect. Let's mark it. Now, here's the answer from 3b, and it's correct. So, this one's a pass. Next, here's the answer from 7b, and it's correct. So, let's mark it as a pass. The answer from 14b is incorrect, so let's mark it as a fail. Here's the answer from 32b, and it's correct. So, this is a pass. Lastly, the answer from 72b is also correct, so that's a pass. Now, let's move on to the next question. If a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? Here's the answer from 0.5b, and it's incorrect. This is a fail. The answer from 1.5b is also incorrect. This is a fail. Here's the answer from 3b, and it's wrong too. So, it's a fail. Next, the answer from 7b is incorrect. So it's a fail as well. The answer from 14b is also incorrect. Another fail. Here's the answer from 32b, and it's wrong too. Fail. Finally, the answer from 72b is also incorrect. Another fail. Now, we move on to the coding questions. The first question here is, Create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Here's the answer from 0.5b, and this doesn't work when I test it, so let's mark this as a fail. Next, here's the answer from 1.5b, and if I run it, you can see that this also doesn't work. Let's mark it as a fail. Now, this is the answer from 3b. Let's run it. And again, it doesn't work. So, this is also a fail. Next, here's the answer from 7b. And if we preview it, you can see that this works fine. So, let's mark it as a pass. Now the next answer is from 14b, and this also kind of works. So let's keep it as a pass as well. Next, the answer is from 32b. And this doesn't work for some reason, so it's a fail. Now. The next answer is from 72b, and this also doesn't work, so this one's also a fail. 
It's interesting to see that 7B and 14B passed this test, but the larger models didn't. Anyway, let's move to the next question. Also, if you're watching until here, please comment Test King. This helps me know how many of you are actually watching the tests and how many just skip ahead. The next question is, create a Python program that prints the next X leap years based on user input. This is the answer from 0.5b. Let's run it and see. Okay, this doesn't work. Let's mark it as a fail. The next one is from 1.5b, and if I run it here, you can see it works pretty well. So, this is a pass. Next, this is from 3b, and if I run it, you can see that this also works well. This one's also a pass. Next, this answer is from 7b, and if I run it, you can see that this also works well. So, this one's a pass. Next, the answer from 14b works well, so this one's also a pass. Now, the one from 32b also runs fine, meaning this is also a pass. Next, the 72b model also works well, so this is a pass too. Now, the next question is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and check. I'll show you the previews directly. This is from 0.5b, and it's a fail. This is from 1.5b, and this is also a fail. This is from 3b, and again, it's a fail. This is from 7b, and it's another fail. Next, from 14b, this is a fail. Next, from 32b, another fail. And now, from 72b, this is also a fail. So, all of them failed in this one. Next question. Create a landing page for an AI company. The landing page should have four sections. Header, banner, features, and contact us. Make sure it looks sleek and modern. You can use HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and see. This is the preview for 0.5b, and it's not usable, so it's a fail. Next, the preview from 1.5b is also not usable, so it's a fail. Next, from 3b, and it's a fail, because it's not usable. Next, from 7b, it's kind of usable, so this is a pass. Now, from 14b, this is usable, so it's a pass. Next, from 32b, also a pass. Now, from 72b, this is a pass because it looks pretty good. Now, let's move to the final question. Write a game of life in Python that works in the terminal. Let's send it and check. This is what we get when we run 0.5b, and it's not working, so this is a fail. Next, from 1.5b, this also isn't working, so it's a fail. Next, from 3b, again, it's not working, so it's a fail. Next, from 7b, and this is not working either, so it's a fail. Now, from 14b, it's working, so this is a pass. Next, from 32b, it's also working, so this is a pass. Now, from 72b, and this is also a pass because it's working. Finally, here's the final chart. As you can see, the biggest 72B model fails in five questions, while the 32B model also fails in the same five questions. The 14B also fails in five questions, and the 7B model fails in five questions. The 3B model fails in 11 questions, and the 1.5B and 0.5B models also fail in 11 questions. So, all the models have similar failure rates. But for the best model, I'd say that the 7B model is the best of the lot because it works well overall. The 14B is also good, and 32B and 72B are fine, but not extraordinary. The smaller models are good for simple language tasks, but nothing special. So, that's everything about them. But now, Let's also try out the coder model. I'll only test it with the five coding questions. So, let's get started. The first question is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when clicked. 
you can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it to 7B first and check. Okay, this doesn't work at all, so it's a fail. Let's send it to 1.5B. And if we preview it, you can see it's also not working, so it's a fail. Now, the next question is, create a Python program that prints the next X leap years based on user input. Let's send it to 1.5B. Here's the code. Let's run it. It works fine, so it's a pass. Now, let's send it to 7B and check. It works well here too, so this is a pass. Next question. Generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it. Here's the code from 1.5B, and it doesn't look like a butterfly, so it's a fail. Next, from 7B, this is also not a pass. Next question. Create a landing page for an AI company. Let's send it. This is the code from 1.5B, and if we preview it, this works well, so it's a pass. Next, from 7B, and if we preview it, this also works, so it's a pass. The final question. Write a game of life in Python for the terminal. Let's send it. The answer from 1.5B isn't working, so it's a fail. Next, the answer from 7B is working fine, so let's mark it as a pass. Now, here's the chart for the coder model, and I think it's amazing. The 1.5B model works well for its size, and the 7B model is impressive for its size too. I think this is a solid option for coding at a smaller scale. Overall, I think this is super cool. It's one of the best models for coding at its size, and it works well. To see the math model testing and other cool videos, you can become a member, which supports me too. Overall, all these models are pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.